Hello, hello, and welcome to More Thoughts as the week goes on and we become more and more isolated. And one of the things that I am so grateful for now is my computer, uh, because I would be lost without my computer, and I love my computer. I love it. Uh, I, 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 you know, now that I have Facebook, my box is always full, which is uh, quite a change. Um, and I've been thinking about memory sticks because I've been putting a lot of things on memory sticks and, and then trying to tune into them. And what happens is I think that a memory stick is just like bad sex. You put it in, you stick it in, and then something unexpected always happens. But one of the things that I think is interesting, especially now when the NHS is so busy and you can't dial a 999 and when you dial 111, nobody answers, uh, I think an awful lot of people are using Google instead of going to the doctor. But, you know, I typed my symptoms in, and uh, it said program not responding. And I thought, well, it's just like NHS. But one of the things that I think is really interesting, now that you're uh, self-isolating, that an awful lot of girls are using uh, their computers for sex. But what I don't understand is how they can fit it in. Uh, I was reading about unusual facts, and, and, and did you know that the most wonderful strongest line in the movie, the one that we had got the most reaction ever, was Clark Abel. I wonder whether you people remember it. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. My God, I love that. I remember seeing it in Gone with the Wind and seeing Clark Abel look at Scarlett O'Hara uh, after she had uh, just uh, been disgusting and saying, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. And I wish that uh, more of us particularly in England, where you never say what you feel, would be willing to say when someone tells you some terrible tragedy that they're all upset about, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I know that we're supposed to give a damn about standing six feet away from everyone. I know we're supposed to give a damn about the fact that people are dying. But I think, frankly, there are some things like, like, uh, the, the things that we can't do that we used to be able to do before, that frankly, I don't really give a damn. I just want it all to be over, and I want you to not give a damn either, but just take one day at a time. Uh, so thank you really a lot for joining me with my thoughts, uh, and uh, give a damn about what matters, and thanks so much.